what's up everyone welcome back to another vlog i am doing a little abercrombie try on i shared a try on with you guys not too long ago and i was super impressed to be honest i took a little break from abercrombie and if you've been around for a while you know how much i love abercrombie i just feel like lately they've really for the past couple of years have been coming out with some really great stuff I love their quality and I love their prices, especially when you can find the stuff on sale. Everything that I'm sharing with you guys, I bought myself, but if they did want to sponsor me, I'd be totally fine with that. Anyway, I am a huge fan of Abercrombie. I really like their stuff. I like their stuff and how it fits. So I ordered some more stuff after that first order and it actually is going to come in handy because I was like, okay, I need some like spring stuff. I need some athletic stuff i need some a few new things and then zach and i booked a last minute vacation so a couple of these dresses like this one that i'm wearing is going to come in handy for the little vacation that we're doing because it's quite tropical and i thought this is perfect they have such cute stuff I tend to go for more of fitted items being more of a curvy woman, but they do have like flowy dresses, fitted dresses. They have lots of different stuff for lots of different styles. I'm a huge fan, but the first dress that I'm going to show you guys is the one I'm wearing and it's this one. Don't mind the pillows back here. Zach is doing all of the laundry right now. But this dress here is so pretty and I actually got it in black. I'll try that with you guys as well. But I got the black one and then I thought, you know what? I do like a like dusty pink, like dusty rose. So I'm going to order it in this color as well. And I love it. I think it's so pretty. I just, I love it. I love it a lot. Also, big tip when you are packing for a vacation to be able to like pack less we are big uh carry-on people so i typically go with a clear heel because it's going to go with every outfit that's just like my little packing hack slash tip pack a clear heel and then you can wear your heels pretty much with everything maybe even like a black strappy heel if you want to switch it up a little bit but the clear heel is perfect because like i said you can wear it with everything but this is the first dress I can't wait to show you guys where we're going and wear it there, but I think it's perfect for the occasion. Anyway, so I originally was just gonna get the black and then I saw the corally pink color and I thought, you know what? I think I'm gonna get both and I could always return the coral pink if it doesn't work out, but I think I actually prefer that one over the black one. Now you can never go wrong with a black dress ever, but if I were to take only one on the vacation, it would be the coral one, especially because it's a tropical vacation. But let me show you the black. So it's just the same dress, just in black. And I would probably pull my hair like in a low bun or, you know, something like that, just because it being black, I like a little bit more chic. But this dress is so cute. I am not wearing a bra and I also don't have any shapewear on, which is like... Usually I always wear shapewear with everything, but you know what? That's all right. I am fine with like not wearing shapewear in this dress. I love it that much. Okay, this is the next top. You guys, I love this top. I already knew I was gonna love this top because I got a top just like this from Abercrombie a couple years ago and I wore that top so much. This is in a size medium. It is a little bit cleavagey, and I'm not normally a cleavage girl, but on vacation, I tend to like try to dress outside of my comfort zone a little bit more. I, I don't know why I feel a little more comfortable dressing, like showing a little more on vacation, and Zach loves it, so it's a win-win. Anyway, so I love this top. I knew I was gonna love it, and then I got these jeans as well. They're pretty snug around the waist. These are on a 29, and I knew to order a 29 because I'm typically between a 28 and a 29, but I knew to order a 29 because on the description, I think they said rigid, or I just knew that they didn't have a lot of stretch. I can't remember what told me that, but so I'm glad I sized up in these, but this is the 
whole outfit like i said i already knew i was gonna love this outfit typically if i dress a little more girly i like shirts like this so i love this now for the vacation i'm gonna definitely take the top i probably won't take these jeans but with a cute pair of like beach pants or something like that i feel like these well, this top will be super cute with something like that. And then again, just the clear heels. These jeans are also in the regular length. I typically, ooh, there's like a little knot in here. Now for the jeans, I went with a size or length size regular. Every time I've got the short, it's almost like they're too short. And I don't know if it's because I'm thicker or, you know, what the reason is. But I like the regular length because I can wear heels. If I wear heels with the short length, they're just too short. And then I think that's it about the jeans. They don't have any stretch. So definitely consider that if you order these, maybe go up a size um, or, you know, hopefully they'll kind of like loosen up, but they're tight. They are a little tight, but they're cute. You guys, they're so cute. Whoops, run, running into the door. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. So I forgot to mention no bra for the top at all. It's a little risky because... But it's a double knot. I don't feel like I'm gonna fall out though. That's the thing is like, for me, it's a little revealing um, just for how I typically dress, but I don't feel like I'm gonna fall out. So that's really nice. Um, but yeah, and the tighter you go, the more like squish you can make it. You know what I mean? I tell you, dude, trying all this stuff on is, whew, makes you get a little workout in. Okay, this top, I love this top. I have it also in black, and I've been wearing the black one nonstop. It's actually dirty, so I can't try it on with you guys. I haven't worn this one yet, but I love it. I got this in a size small. I love it. I'm not wearing a bra right now, but I'd wear a strapless bra if I were to put a bra on. Now, the reason why I love this top is the scuba neck gives like so much shape. And I love that. I feel like it really like shows off like our, you know, this area, decollege, is that what it's called? Right here, I got it in, this color's the light brown and then the black, like I said, and I love them. I also really love them because they're a crop. So I love to just tuck them in right into this portion, like that belt portion of your jeans. And there's not a bunch of fabric like buildup in there. And you kind of get that like bodysuit vibe, but without dealing with the bodysuit, like when you have to go to the bathroom, you know how it is. So I love this one so much. And I really love to actually wear, I've been wearing my black one a ton with high rise leggings. And I'll show you guys how it looks with like jeans. Cause I still have my jeans on that I just got. Look at how cute. I just, it's just cute. You know, it's just kind of like effortless cute. Like you could wear this out to brunch with a pair of heels and some jeans and you're good to go. I love it. Like I said, having that like bodysuit vibe, but without dealing with the bodysuit is so nice. And it's just, it's just a good top. It's just a good top. You got to get it. Okay. So this top is similar to the last top that I just shared with you guys. But this one's kind of, we used to call these lasagna straps back when I was in high school. I don't know, let me know if you guys like spaghetti strap, lasagna strap. Let me know if you guys did that as well. But I love this one. This one's a little bit more of like a tomboy vibe, which I love. Like I feel like these tops go really good with Converse, even some leggings and Converse or like I have heels on and I, I just love the versatility of these, these tops and I love them so much. I wear these ones with the thicker strap to work out because I can put a sports bra on underneath. Right now I'm not wearing a bra. These ones are a little bit more cropped so I can't really tuck them in but they hit right at my jeans and I love that. So let me show you how it looks with the jeans. So here is the whole outfit and like I said, it has that like more square neck. I just, I don't know, I really like these. I really like these. I love working out in them. They're just cute. Okay, so next I have some jammies. Okay, I am someone who like sleeps in Zach's t-shirts or I'll sleep in like old raggedy t-shirts and just underwear. And then for Christmas, Zach was like, I wanted to get you some nice jammies and it was so sweet and I was like, I need to step up my jammy game. So then I actually got this one from Target. I'll see if I can find it. It's like the cutest little, oh my gosh, I should take this on vacation and wear it as a dress. 
a cute little dress and it's like this like little very dusty light pink got it from target i love it and but like sometimes it, the straps do kind of fall off so i found this one on abercrombie with the matching shorts let me back up for you guys now i'm not a shorts person at all at all at all but for sleeping i do love them because it's kind of like sleeping in your underwear but not so this is like the little set that i got i love it you guys i love it i feel like where have i been with the like bougie jammies now all i want to do is sleep in silk so cute you know what i mean so this is and these tops are kind of like you can wear them You'd have to look up how to style them, but I've seen like the night shirt style going around. Super cute, I love it. I wear some silk tops that, I have one that I've worn that kind of looks like a night shirt, but it's not. So you could wear this as like just a regular shirt with a cute outfit as well. So, cute new jammies, I love them, I love them, I love them. Okay, so I have a few sports bras to share with you guys. One is the one I'm wearing, which actually I feel like I need to size up. This is a size medium. I ripped out the padding because I don't love padding, so I already ripped that out. But you can still kind of see where the padding seam is. I'm quite stuffed in this. But like, I really do like the sports bra, and I'm kind of confused because I'm like, maybe I want to keep it because... I like to feel like super secure and not like when I'm like cycling or working out, I don't wanna be flopping all over, you know what I mean? So I can't decide if I should keep this one or not. I also got it in black. I also got this like, oh no. Like if you got some, some girls, I don't know if this is the top for us, but it basically is just like a one strap and it kind of goes up kind of close to your neck but it just was not flattering uh but those are the pieces that i got i can't wait to style them and share them more with you guys let me know what was your favorite what's you put in your cart what you're looking at and i want to do some more fashion i want to share more of that with you guys so i will be doing a little bit more here on the channel but definitely over on instagram so make sure you're following me over there and i got some more of these little terracotta pots in and i was super excited about it but i just opened up the box and felt it in here and like you can tell they're shattered in there so I think I'm gonna have to return them, which is actually like makes me really sad because I know two of you at least left me a comment saying you ordered them and they came shattered, which is like so frustrating. I am so sorry about that. I mean, I know it's like not in my control, but I just hate that. Okay, I think it was the middle one that came that got busted. Ah, so frustrating. Like, not cool. That's not cool. Yeah, it's completely shattered in there. Oh, the big one is too. Okay, these have to go back. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like shattered in there. Bummer. That is such a bummer, but mine was not packed well at all whatsoever. I don't know why they packed. It's almost like they just took this. I don't know if they didn't know what it was, and put it in a box with like no other padding. It was quite interesting. But if you bought these and yours came broken, I'm so sorry. My second set came broken as well. Hopefully with returning these, and I'm gonna write on the feedback that mine came shattered, they fixed the problem because, ah, uh, that's so frustrating. And the part that's like so, it's just annoying to do a return when you weren't planning on it, you know what I mean? So. That stinks. What's up guys? It is another morning. I'm about to film a like coffee table styling video. I've been kind of into switching up our coffee table a little bit so I thought I would share that with you guys. We just went outside and clipped some fresh olive branch because I don't have any fresh florals right now because we just got home from California. So I 
and I don't have time to go down to the store. So I just went out and picked some olive branch, which is nice because it's free. I think you're a little crooked. There we go. Also, I finished off two of my Jo Malone candles and these candles are a little pricey, but I love them. They, like nothing compares to these, but I've had both of these. This one especially I've had for a couple of years and I just finished it off. So I need to clean it out. Normally what I'll do is when the wax is still hot or like pretty, like it's cooling off, I'll just wipe it out then, but I didn't notice that this one went out. But as you can see, there's hardly, I mean, these candles burn down to the nothing. There's like hardly any wax in there. And then what I like to do is I use, I repurpose them. So I use mine for my makeup brushes, or I'm gonna put like um, Q-tips and cotton swabs in here and put them in. We have like a little medicine cabinet in our bathroom. Maybe I'll do a video on that or show in this video what I do. Uh, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna repurpose these and use them. I actually wanna order this one again because it has the fluted and I really, really like it. This one also needs clean because I just wiped out the wax when it was still hot, but I love those. But today is just a filming day. We're trying to really be so much better about filming, pumping out videos for you guys. And I am just going to do as much as I can. So they might be a little bit of shorter videos, but it really does help with being able to put out more content for you guys and really just take you guys along pretty much everything that we're doing. So today I'm just going to refresh the coffee table and show you guys how I do that. It'll be a separate video, a video on its own, because I'm going to go over all the different things that I like for a coffee table, like coffee table books, trays, candles, coasters, the whole bit. So that is what I'm going to do. But if you haven't noticed, I've said this in another video, I, in the community tab, I've been sharing lots of different links with you guys. And the last two links I think I did, since this video is a coffee table and then coffee table styling objects. Those are in the community tab and in the video, I'm going to try to link as much as possible. I do want to know what areas in your home that you guys want to, you know, like refresh or that you're working on. So that way I know what collages to do. Okay. I have quite a few videos on florals. I, you guys know I love them. I'm just gonna take my water, put it in here. When you're transporting this, be very careful. This is one of my favorite pots. This is a definite splurge, but I love this pot so much. And then I have my little white pottery barn one that I've shared with you guys that I also love. But this one, I just, I really love this one. So I went and picked some greenery, some olive twig, fresh olive twig. I'm gonna take off the leaves that are gonna be hitting the water so they don't just get all nasty and soggy in there. And just start building my arrangement here. Now it's super popular for stylists right now to have big, huge branches but also I love that, but also it's always, not always, you know, practical in your home if you have this on your coffee table. So one thing is if you don't have a ton and you have maybe only one long branch, I prefer to go a little asymmetrical with it. So I would put it on the side that is going a little further. gonna have to work because this is all that we have so it's perfect okay I just finished filming my coffee table styling video I'm gonna show you guys the final look here I'm actually still moving things around because as soon as you feel like you got it down then you kind of play a little bit more but this is the little coffee table setup that I came up with I actually had the candle right here but then I walked away and I kind of felt like these needed something. So I put it right there. But while I was filming, my friend asked me if I wanted to go to the antique store. And I was like, yeah, I do. I want to go. So she's going to come over and pick me up. And we're going to go to the antique store. It was a very spur of the moment. 
I'm super pumped about it, but while I was styling, I was actually thinking of a few styling bits that I want to add to my collection if I can find them. Like I want some, I don't like trinkets, but sometimes having a couple little pieces here and there are super helpful when it comes to styling spaces. Like sometimes you just need something tiny. So I'm gonna look for some stuff. I don't really know what all I'm looking for, but that's the beautiful thing about antique shopping is like you don't always know what you're shopping for, but sometimes you go out and you find the best little things to add to your collection. And I love to go out and go look at local stores. I also really love to shop on Etsy, especially if I'm looking for something specific. I can just type it into Etsy and find it or eBay. I do Etsy more than eBay, but anyway, I'm excited. I am looking forward to, I haven't been antique shopping in a little while, so it's gonna be a lot of fun, but I just thought I would quickly kind of show you guys the little coffee table set up. You can go watch the whole video. It'll probably be up before this video if you want to. This coffee table we actually built, so let me know if you've been around that long where you watched that video. And everything else I've been collecting over time and you know I have more decor and stuff over there, but I love it. I love how simple it is and it feels good. So it's also still livable, although it looks very styled as well. store and I found this piece you guys it was $40 it does kind of feel a little wobbly so Zach's gonna try to help me make it a little more secure I don't know do you think we're gonna like have to uh, glue it or yeah we'll get it figured out. but what sold me on it was the little keyhole and I figured That's maybe I, I know it's I know too. be careful don't lean on it it's I'll a little it. sus but I might get new knobs, I don't know. But that little keyhole, isn't that cute? Yeah. We'll for $40. It, we'll it yeah. So I don't know where it's gonna go, but we're, I'm just manifesting for our house. <laughs> I got another mirror because I figured mirrors kind of like artwork. Like if you find a good one, you find a good one. How much was this one? $26, which I felt like was pretty good. I'm definitely gonna paint it. I feel like this kind of pool is a little shabby and I don't love that. Then I got a little yeah. brass little um pots for flowers and at first i wasn't gonna get this it was 18 dollars, and i felt like i don't know i was like do i want to spend 18 dollars? but i was like you know what these really come in handy and my pottery barn one was 40. this is much smaller than that one but i was like i feel like that's a good price and then you're gonna hate these babe. i love them so i thought these would be perfect for desserts they're like little, you know, we could do like um, creme brulee in there. I'm super into blue and white right now. I just feel like it's incredibly timeless. And do those, those are stackable obviously. Or? Yeah, they're stackable. I don't think they're vintage though. It says they're Take made Take one in... apart. Oh, it's taped together. Yeah. How much were those? These were 14 for four of them. Oh, that's not bad. No, and I thought we could even do like I don't know. I thought they were really cute for the spring and summer. Like even some dips in here or yeah, lots of different reasons, but I just thought these were really cute. And that's all I got. Those are my finds this trip at the antique store. Actually getting that in here, it, I like love it even more. It does need a sanding because it has like a little mark on the front and- We'll fix it up. Yeah, but I just like for $40, I mean. Yeah. That's a great piece. It's very cottage, but I feel like it definitely can work at their style. I really like it. 
And this was like a very, these are the best trips to go antique shopping is like spur of the moment, last minute. I feel like that's when I find the best stuff is when I'm like not looking for any, I wasn't looking for any of this. And I was just kind of like keeping an open mind and then I saw the dresser and I was like. It's almost sometimes, I think this with like clothes and stuff, you find things, but then like when you're like, hey, we have a little bit of money or hey, let's go yeah. get some clothes, you, you can't find, find anything. anything. I know. But then when you're not looking, you're like, You find oh. everything. I, I feel like that's. Or when you don't have money, it's like everything, you're like, oh man, I want yeah. that. Or you're like, dang, I remember doing that a ton when I was a kid and I'd have like no money and I'd go shopping with my friends and they would I would find everything that I wanted. And then I like worked my little job. I worked at a little clothing store, which was my first job. Aside from my like lawn mowing business that I had when I was 12. <laughs> but my first real job, I worked at a clothing store. And every time I'd get paid, I would like buy all my clothes. And whenever I get paid, I had, like, I, I wouldn't want to spend my money. But then anytime I didn't have money, I found everything. It was just yeah. you know how it is. Anyway. Those are my finds. Let me know which one you love. I'm probably gonna paint this that like black, the chocolate brown, almost black. I just really love. The same as the t last table? Maybe. I actually painted the other one. I painted this one. I shared this one with you guys. I got this one for $20 too. I painted this one that like chocolate, chocolate, chocolate brown, almost black because I didn't love it. And I didn't love the maple leaves that were on here. And I actually didn't notice that when I bought it. Your, so your face is like in, the in there. <laughs> so I love that one as well. And I feel like these always come in handy because you can always put a mirror somewhere. Yeah. So I especially when we have a bigger space. space. Yeah. It feels like a not a lot, but it feels like a lot. Especially like now we have two dresser. I know. But like when we're gonna need furniture, and it costs yeah. a lot of money to furnish a home. So yeah. When you find a good deal, you gotta get it. And sometimes it. it's worth buying it, but then other times it's like, that was $40, even if we spent $40 on new hardware and paint. And that's still, an $80 I wooden know. dresser. And you're not getting that these days anywhere yeah. brand new. No, and it's, and I'm big on, um, I'm, I wear a lot of stuff running the mill like every day. I'm big on like one-offs or one-of-a-kind yes. pieces or like, dude, mm -hmm. or like when we travel, I want to get more things that are like, yeah, maybe not even authentic Collected. or vintage, but like, hey, I haven't seen that before. Yeah. Or It's actually funny that you're saying we that. We like both though. I think there's a balance. There is a balance, but I say this to you guys all the time, like collect your things over time. Like don't, I prefer not to go to a big box store or buy the new spring drop or whatever and i feel like that's like with everything even your fashion yeah your home decor all of it so um in those pieces i feel like a lot of time i'm nerding out too like things have sto stories yeah like our entertainment center i remember building that what 10 years ago our coffee table like uh -huh. it was fun building that this you found at a vintage store that your work desk is yeah. like something unique and has a story behind it. Yeah. I know I love, I love building a collected home. I'm nerding out, I'm sorry. No, I know. No, don't be sorry. I, I'm the same way. I feel like now, I feel like before you didn't always understand, but I think now you kind of get I it. I like, yeah. yeah. I'm fine with going to Target or anywhere like that. There is pieces and stuff you yeah. can find. But then I also like, those one one of a kind pieces, you know. Mm -hmm. I agree. Like I have, there's nothing wrong with Target, but what I don't like to do is to just shop the whole line, and then it almost feels like your house is Target, you know. Yeah. Like, but I do like to get pieces here and there. Sometimes I'll find some really great things at like that lamp. I love that lamp. Yeah. Things like that. I feel like okay. Sometimes I think too when you shop. I don't know why I'm just saying that. <laughs> Sometimes when you shop like a whole line, in like five years from now, it's all gonna be not outdated, but there's gonna be a whole new multiple lines between them. Yeah. But if you get those one offs or those even at Target, Collected, those one yeah. kind pieces where like that I could have for the next yeah. 15, 20 years. Yeah, it's true. It really is true. Basically, we're just saying go out and have a spontaneous antique shopping day and you never know what you're gonna find. And also just think of like what you could do to it. Like for me, I was like, well, I could swap out the knobs. I do love the raw wood. 
So kind of like work yourself, talk yourself through it. Like, okay, if I bought this, where would it go? What would I do to it? Would I change the hardware? For me, it's like hard right now because we live in an apartment. So I'm buying for our house. And I knew I could fit this somewhere, whether it's a bedside table or in like a nook or in a white smiling. It is cute. In like a hallway, something. I was like, okay, this is perfect. I think Brandy is so cute because sometimes. No. <laughs> what okay. was he going to say? No, I think Brandy's so cute because this is not a show. I didn't know, no one's saying this. Brandy is so passionate about I these love things. This, the it concept. just makes me like. <laughs> like, yeah. like you're like truly passionate about I it. I do. I love it. And I want to share so much more. And I've talked about this. Like I cannot wait yeah. to be in a space that I can actually design and share with you guys. Yeah. Cause I designed our living room or our, our apartment, but not like to the, the extreme that I would like to, yeah. but I do believe in collecting your items, like collect them and just Next time you want to go to Target, just skip Target and go to the antique store or thrift shop. You Target be... could have some good. No, signs I out. know, but the thing is, you're, <laughs> you're going to Target all the time, right? You're gonna go yeah. maybe go pick up some ibuprofen, or you're gonna go pick up some groceries, or whatever reason you need toilet paper. You're gonna to go to Target and you're gonna stop at the home section, but the Target stuff is always gonna have you buying. Like yeah. Target, like the, that's their goal. That's marketing. Yeah. They want you to come in there. They want you to buy. They need to drop new lines. Like that's, it's a cycle. But I feel like when you really get to know yourself and you go antique shopping and stuff, like you're gonna walk out of there empty handed so many times. You're gonna be picky. You're gonna choose things that you really, really love instead of Target telling you you need it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you're cute. Okay. And this is all your preference too. This is too. just my opinion. This is yeah. just like the way it's not I like, like a, to shop. Like yeah. if you love Target and you're We like, buy stuff at Target. Yeah, I buy stuff all the time at Target. But if you're that person that's like, Why no, are we dogging on Target all no, this time? I, I, I just use Target I as just an joking. example. Like I'm there's tons joking. of stores that are like that. But like I have friends that are super trendy and they love it. They love fast fashion. They love and they can At the end of the through. day, and you like what you like. Yes. And if But you could what, learn. Oh, sorry. No, I was just going to say. Could, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was saying you like what you like, no matter if it's in, not in, if yeah. it's trendy, not. You like what you like at the end of the day. Yeah. But then also. Some people just they don't really know what they like or they True true. That's very true And it's really easy to go into Target and be like, oh this all matches. This is great I'm gonna buy it and that's fine, too. That really is yeah. but I just feel like there's a lost I feel like nowadays more people are shopping vintage, but I feel like these things you're gonna have for as long as they last yeah, you know yeah. I don't know. And Target stuff too. Like some stuff at Target's going to end up in antique shops, I'm sure. Like. Yeah. A lot of things though now are just so mass produced. Like. Yeah. Not saying this stuff is or was ever one of a kind. Right. Could I mean, have this been. dresser could have been like. But yeah. Like no, not many people or that last one you shared, you know, or some of the stuff like the the desk table you have. Who knows? Yeah. Sure. No, that there could have been a million of those mm -hmm. back in the day, but now you, I, I've never seen a desk like that. Yeah, it's true. You know, I just think it, it does set your house apart. Bringing antiques into your home sets your house apart because I feel like the homes that I go to, at least maybe, maybe this isn't the case for everyone. I think it's more rare to see a collected home. Yeah. And so it's cool. But to see. it's funny too. We will go into like a friend's or a family house. And they'll be like, not nervous, but kind of like anxious I, for you to see. And I, know. I think your big thing is like, yeah, I, there's stuff that I would do to your house. And there's stuff that you yeah. either don't care or uh -huh. don't care or it's your own style. Yeah. Where you're like, no, if you're comfortable in your own home, yeah, totally. who's to say that? Yes. You know, there's things I would do different, but I'm sure that same person could come yeah. to our house and be like, I would never do that. No. And that's what's cool about design yeah. and Pieces. I, and it should be you expressing yourself. If you're a function person and you want all functional things, by all means, like get the the soap that dispenses in your hand and you want function, you know, all that kind of stuff. Me, like I'm probably too much on the design side where I'm yeah. like, I'll have a um, comfortable piece of furniture because it's pretty. <laughs> but it is, 
I don't ever go into someone's home and be like, oh, I would not do that. Like, no, like I love your home. I love you. So the thing is, is that I'm there for you. I'm not there to like look at your home. Anyway, this has gone on so oh. long. I'm so sorry, but I'm super pumped about all the things that I got. All and right. I'm excited to battle them with you guys. I would say we were good together. Have fun